So let's look at uh, this may be the final topic for the whole term. So I don't know, like compare uh, the Alsa, the Yoruba, the Igbo political system. I'm going to look at the three of them, what they have in common, what they don't have in common. I'm going to run them down right now. So uh, let's put on our thinking cap and let's jump into it. So the Alsa uh, Fulani Emirates and the Yoruba Kingdom were headed by a monarch. Why the Igbos never had any form of monarch, any sort of monarchy system at all. That's the first point, right? In the Alsa Fulani system, the MA had both political, spiritual, judicial, administrative function. The MA is absolute. It has all, controls, everything. The Yoruba and Igbo system wasn't that way, right? In the Igbo system, there was no head, actually. Yoruba's had head, but it wasn't doing all these functions. There were some sort of checks and balances in the Yoruba political system, right? So in the Yoruba system, there are proper checks and balances. Oh, I just said it. Proper checks and balances, whereas there was none. In the Alsa system, it was absolute monarchy. In the Igbo, there was no form of monarchy system at all. Now, uh, let's go further. The Igbo system, the eighth grade institution was there. It was recognized. Yorubas never had it. Outside, it was not existing. Right? Age grade are those that are born into the given age bracket. It can be four years, five years. So the Alsa, Fulani, and Yoruba system are an organized standing army. We had the Madawaki in the Alsa. We had the Areona Kakamfu in the Yoruba. But in the Igbos, they were not. The age grade deputized for this system. They were the ones that went to go and implement law and order. They were the ones that actually went to go and fight if there was a need for it. So in Yoruba system, there was a, a laid down procedure for inputting the king, right? The Oyomese and the Bashurun had a system for inputting the king. But the Alsa system, such never existed. So also in the Igbo system. The Alsa system was strictly based on Islamic religion. While the other system, Yoruba and Igbo, was based on the traditions and customs of the people. Remember, Islam came into Usman Danfudu and gazumped the whole cultural system in the north. So Islam was the culture, Islam was the way of life, Islam was the religion and everything, right? Alsa had no form of tax, Alsa had a form of taxation, while there was no such arrangement in the Yoruba or Igbo system. Now, you see, it was easy for the whites, for the British government to run around the Alsa political system because everything was already put on a platter for them, right? While uh, in the Igbo and Yoruba system, nah, nothing existed. It was just, okay, the Yorubas had something on ground because they had a monarchy, even though the king was not an absolute monarch. But the Igbo system, nothing existed. Now, similarities. All the three systems had administrative processes. They had institutions like age grade, like the uh, Obaras in the Igbo land, like the Areona Kakamfu, like the Bashur um, Oyomesi, like the Madawaki, and uh, the uh, and so on and so forth. Right? We had the Madawaki, we had the Waziri in the north. So they had administrative institutions across these three different ethnic groups. They had a form of defense. The Yoruba had Areona Kakamfu, also had the uh, Madawaki, right? It both had the age grade. So these things were broken down into units. So the three administrative systems were all broken down into units. Alsa land was divided into emirates. Igbo was divided into kindred. Yorubas were divided into provinces. So there was a form of direction in all these things. So I'm going to stop here. Uh, we just reviewed what we did for the past three or four videos now in this last video in week 10. So if you have any question, feel free to put it in the comment section. If you have clarification, if you have a view to share, I'll be expecting it there as well. Right? So I'm going to rest my case right now. Do have a pleasant day.